a little bit about domain and range. You have f of x is square root of x plus 6. What's the domain? Well, the domain is restricted. You can't let x equal like negative 10, because negative 10 plus 6 would be negative 4, and the square root of negative 4 is not a real number. So, I say you can't do the square root of a negative. Now, really what I would say, if I want to say it accurately, is the square root of negative is not a real number. And if we're in functions of a real number with real number values, you can't have that. Uh, you can do the square root of a negative um, if you're working with complex numbers. Okay, anyhow, with real numbers, if everything's supposed to be real, can't happen. So x plus 6 has to be greater than or equal to 0 so that it isn't negative. And so x has to be greater or equal to negative 6. You just solve this inequality very easily. And your domain is then negative 6 to infinity. Because any number greater than or equal to negative 6 works. That's what the interval negative 6 infinity embodies. The range, well, if x is negative 6, then y equals f of x equals 0. Okay? If x approaches infinity, f of x approaches infinity. Now, what do we mean by approach infinity? This means x gets bigger than anything. Uh, no matter what number you can think of, x can, get big, can be bigger than that number. Specifically, uh, if you want to prove that uh, some number is in the range, you say, okay, uh, let's just take that number. I want square root of x plus 6 to equal that number. Well, if I simply square that number, and then set x plus 6 equal to the square, I'm going to get a, a value of x that makes x that big, that makes f of x that big. Okay? Another way of saying that is, and, and it's actually worth writing this down, and I should have thought of doing this in class. Okay, now my verbal argument pretty much establishes if x is negative 6, we get 0. If x approaches infinity, f approaches infinity. As x gets bigger, this number gets bigger. It's continuous. So uh, we have a continuous set of numbers starting at 0 that approach infinity. So the range would be the interval 0 infinity. And I neglected to write that down. Another way to prove that the range is from 0 to infinity is Setting square root of x plus 6 equal y always has a solution for x. Square both sides, you get x plus 6 equals y squared. So that x equals y squared minus 6. So y could be any number from 0 to infinity. Uh, it doesn't... Well, I don't have to say. For x in the interval, negative 6 infinity, y is in the interval. Should be a square brace. Bracket here, zero. Infinity. So, there, there, there's sort of analysis of range. Um, I could improve that if I had a little bit of room on the board. I don't, so I'm going to leave it at that and let you take a look at the text. There's another thing we want to look at. What about f of x equals 1 over x plus 6 quantity squared? 
What's a domain? Well, the only thing that restricts us is that the denominator can't be zero. So x plus 6 can't be zero because division by zero is undefined for a lot of good reasons. Since x plus 6 equals zero implies that x is negative 6, x can't be negative 6. It can be any other number. I could really write this as an equivalent. x plus 6 is zero if and only if x is negative 6. So the only number you have to restrict here is negative 6. Okay, any other x gives a non-zero denominator, so any other value is okay. Follows that your domain is set negative infinity, negative 6, open interval, and union, the interval 6 to infinity, open interval. In other words, set of all real numbers except for negative 6, and I didn't put the negative on this one. Okay. So, what's the range? Well, x plus 6 can be any number. So if you square x plus 6, it can be any positive number. It follows then, a little argument, that the reciprocal of x plus 6 squared can be any positive number. And to make that plausible without actually proving it rigorously, which you can get from you know examples in your book and so forth, uh, x plus 6 squared can be any number uh, other than zero within the domain. So it can be any really small number close to zero, which means that its reciprocal can be as big as you like, because if you can divide by a number as small as you like, the result is going to be as big as you like. Okay? And also, x plus 6 can be as big as you like, and if you divide 1 by something as big as you like, you can get a number as small as you like. So it follows that the range can be any number from 0 to infinity. Now, side note, if you get the graph of reciprocal square function, it turns out that the graph of 1 over x plus 6 squared, which is just like 1 over x squared, but you replace x by x plus 6, is just shifted 6 units to the left. Now, we've done the domain and range of what I call the basic and extended basic functions, where the basic function would just consist of the uh, ordered pairs corresponding to the six points I've got here. Uh, and these six points aren't drawn very well. Uh, this should be the point one half, or this should be one one, this should be uh, two one four. Um, they aren't really to scale, it's just a uh, kind of schematic depicting the thing. So anyhow, you got this. Um, the complete basic function is what you get when you let the x values approach zero on both sides here and then approach infinity. So you get an asymptote with the x-axis, an asymptote with the y-axis. Oh, an asymptote with the positive x-axis, an asymptote with the negative x-axis, and asymptotes with the positive y-axis. Okay, that's what the function looks like. Its domain is clearly from zero to infinity. Its range, I'm sorry, its range is clearly from zero to infinity. It doesn't include zero because you can never get to it. Its domain includes all real numbers except for x equals zero because you don't have a value when x equals zero. Over here, it's the same thing. The graph has been shifted over, and we'll see how that works um, fairly shortly, probably next week. And its domain is still from 0 to infinity. Sorry, its range is still from 0 to infinity, not including 0, the open set uh, 0 infinity here. And its domain is this, excluding x equals negative 6.